Hey everyone, it's Cheryl Bassett, your Family Connection Coach, and today I wanted to talk about how different our children can be. Now, if you only have one child, this is extremely valuable as well, but if you have more than one, I have two boys, have you ever noticed just how really different they are? So my oldest is much more linear in his thought process, he's very detailed, and he takes life really serious. My youngest, David, um, you know, everything's a game, uh, life is fun, and you know, he just sort of flows through it. And Brian, in fact, it's funny, sometimes Brian will say, man, I want to live in David's world, it's so much more fun. And we, do, we sort of joke about that, but how they see the world and how they respond to that world is really different. So how you get to support them as parents can also be really different. So when I get a chance to speak on stage, I, do this dramatic scene which i can't do now because the camera won't follow me but i drag my leg across the stage and i say you know i used to walk like this before i read this book the five love languages and then after i read the book i could walk like this and i would just walk across the stage you know as graceful as i am anyway <laughs> and and they would all look at me like well you know why so but what i found out when i read this book was that david's love language was physical touch it was all about that so i you know i used to drag this kid so that was my thing i'd drag him he'd be holding onto my leg and i'd be trying to sweep the floor and i'd be dragging david with me and i would feel like oh my gosh this kid doesn't give me five seconds to be alone and so but after i read this book i thought oh my gosh this his basic need for physical touch is just not probably being met so we changed one thing and when we changed that one thing, it wasn't a transition, it was immediate. There was a shift that happened. And the only thing we did differently was we got up a little bit earlier in the morning, we spent 10 to 15 minutes, maybe sometimes 20, and where he would sit on my lap physically and we would read a book or do a puzzle or do something together, but he was, you know, and I was, my energy changed around it. I just welcomed him and he felt that change in me too. And I stopped resisting, you know, the fact that I was dragging him around. And then he was fine the entire day. And I went, oh my gosh, like I, I just needed to make sure that that child's love language was being met. Now, Brian is very different. In fact, Brian doesn't like to hug. Brian's a perimeter hug. It's like we're hugging a tree sideways. <laughs> So that's not his love language, right? So it's not going to work for him. I mean, David will literally walk me off a sidewalk when we take a walk even to this day. But for Brian, that's not going to work. So what is Brian's love language? And so when I read the book, I realized that Brian's is all about words of affirmation. Lift me up, empower me, tell me I can do something, right? So once I knew that, I could meet Brian's needs. When he had something going on in his life, I knew exactly how to support him. Even David knew how to support him because he would leave little post-it notes on his door saying, hey, go get them, you're gonna do great today. You know, th there's actually a test. Well, I don't wanna say a test, it's a quiz because you can't fail it. But there's a quiz in the book that allows you to sort of go through the process of uncovering what it is that is the primary love language. And there's five, as we talked about, but there's one that, or two sometimes, but one that usually resonates with you so profoundly that when that's not being met, it can really be uh, something that's missing in your life. And so it's great for any relationship. It's really, it says five love languages. It doesn't have to mean you have to be in a love relationship. It's really a relationship where you care enough about how the person on the other side of that equation is what, as to whether or not their needs are being met and whether or not they feel heard. So um, I just really encourage, in fact, I give this book as a gift when someone's getting married because I think it's that important. Um, it's great for any relationship. It's really great for your family. I encourage you to get the book, read it, go through it. Um, the older your kids are, obviously, the more, but you'll be able to read it and you'll know. You'll be able to tell. David was young and I was able to tell exactly what his love language would be and how I could support that. Um, it, when you do this, you will discover uh, a whole new way of, of sort of communicating and connecting with your family.